medical privileges, right? Like if I was to look at this person, you can tell what kind of a colonist they are by what kind of like medical privileges they have. So like the more they tantrum, the less medical care they get until they get no medical care. So eventually when they do have a tantrum, catch a flu, something like that, they eventually just die. And then I lose a shit colonist. That's generally how it goes. But if I'm keeping Grasshopper around and he's, he's a bit of a cunt, honestly. Um, and it's only because he's, he has like some kind of insanely high ability to cook from memory. I think if I just saw him in here, no, nah, it's cockroach. My cockroach is in the kitchen. That's fine. Um, where's Grasshopper? Uh, there you are. Yeah. So he's got like a lot of issues. He's got low medical. He's pretty low now. He's only a couple more away from not being able to. But yeah, mostly cooking and medical is keeping him alive, which is kind of funny. I think he's doing construction. Oh, that's right. I had, whenever I leave somewhere or I go on to an attack quest, sometimes people end up getting special, like, additional stats. But yeah, mate, I'm guessing I don't have enough benches for you available. No. No. It's fine. I need these to refuel though. If I can, you know. You're not expecting to have a fast colony if it's this big. I think that's kind of the point as well, because like it's in the 13th in-game year as well. Like I've had a lot of like massive battles and stuff like that, which is kind of like capped a bit of my time because like some battles will go for like an hour and a half where like I try and try again to like not lose. Um, not like not lose, but like not lose like either a specific colonist or a lot of colonists or something or like something is happening and it's got to be so carefully like looked after. I love how everybody's in here eating. None of these people have been complaining about not having a table, but I attended a wedding. I wonder what they did that. I obviously missed the wedding. I wasn't invited apparently, but I guess that's fine. I'll just go cry about it somewhere else. Um, is this fertile or unfertile eggs? Unfertile eggs. These fertile? They shouldn't be in here. Alright, hold on. Let's get this. This is a problem if this is allowing fertile eggs in here. Raw food, animal products. No, it's not saying fertile. Uh, is the other one allowing fertile eggs in here? Yeah, no, it's, it's only allowing unfertile eggs. So I don't know why we've got fertile eggs up on this one. Because I'm trying to exclusively store food up here, like meals, like cook stuff, you know. Um, you don't have anything that clears the blood porn list and makes a lot of sense. Uh, so I also don't, because I think it's funny to meet like a porn five years after you meet last saw them, but have like play the TPS tax. See, the thing is, like, the mods that I have, right? Where's my list? I only have six mods, right? So I've got, we've got core game, no DLCs, EDB, prepare carefully, wild reproduction, which is not working since 1.5 updated, drop all inventory, hug slip, harmony, and deep stacks. And that's it. So I don't have any like performance or clearing or none of that shit. Like, it's literally what we had when we started. Because the thing is, when I started this colony, right, we just had Nido. Nido had like a hundred or so colonists and then just one day everybody raged out and imploded and I was just like, I don't know, I was just tired or something that day and I just couldn't give a fuck for them <laughs> and I was like, you guys want to kill each other? Go for it. And um, yeah, so, so, oh my god, it's finally time. I'm going to do a flex. What are you flexing? What are you doing? What do you mean it's finally time? Um, to delete points. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, it's not as probably satisfying as you think it is, but um, congrats on getting your points deleted. Um, I don't know how you feel about that now. Lol. You know, the funny thing is there's only one other person that actually redeems that and it's a waiver and they, a waiver never redeems anything else. And it always amuses me because I'm like, you don't redeem anything else and every time they redeem it they're like I want to see what it does and I'm like it doesn't do anything you just your points are gone <laughs> you know but yeah I don't know I always find that one funny because I'm like somebody's gonna lurk to the point that they're gonna have like a lot of points and that's really the only way you can kind of like get rid of it 
and uh, refresh and take it back to like it being like kind of difficult to be able to afford to redeem shit. But um, yeah, nice. That one v me on Call of Duty. If you disagree, what? I who said I disagreed? I just find it amusing. Also, like I do play Warzone, so I haven't played it for ages. I don't have it updated. Pretty much since it wants a couple of hundred gigs, I'm like, yeah, no, I don't. I don't have that kind of hard drive space available. I literally need to get like an additional storage. Like, um. I need to get external storage so I can store my VODs off my computer because I in I got a seven eight terabyte hard drive when I started streaming, like about like a few months after I started streaming, and it's already full. So I need to I need to get something to deal with that. Hey, my caravan's moving. My caravan is on its way. Nice. Yeah, eventually I'll get a hard drive, and that way I can have more space. I had to like I had to do some like kind rearranging of like what saved where because um what do you call it i i was finding that it was affecting it was impacting my streaming because my streaming software is saved on the same hard drive and between like the streaming software my avatar the games what i'm usually doing at the scale of what i'm doing in games and like yeah it was too much for it and like i understand but yeah, I've got like I've got like file storage shoved everywhere at the moment in my computer. I don't like it. I like order. I like shit being where it's supposed to be. But I have to deal with it. At least for like a little while until I can like afford to get a new one. They're not expensive. I just have to save up a little bit because I'm paying off an air conditioner at the moment. Still. I'm paying off one of the two. Is it um Yeah, I make the rules. No, you don't. Okay, I'm good now. Good. I I'm glad that you calmed down. You seem to be having a minute. I like to say, like, when Phoenix is doing stuff like that, that he's having a senior moment because, like, Phoenix is, like, a 15-year-old cat, right? And I'm like, are you having a senior moment joke? <laughs> Sorry. That's terrible. I, I have no idea how old you are and I don't need to know, but, like, I'm just going to assume that whenever you're doing that, next time I'll assume you're having a senior moment. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I don't know how you feel about that, but I'm highly amused at the moment. Just, like, oh, man. I don't usually like, jo uh, what do you call it, like jovially like rip on people, but like occasionally I do. Well, thank you for a follow, Bezza. Oh, I appreciate that. You're yeah, welcome to my community. We're a, a little bit of a pack of weirdos, so, you know, as long as you're comfortable fitting in with that, you'll be fine. But yeah, RimWorld's got plenty of time left to go. Like, I literally got like probably another year or so before I get to Flak. Because like, I... I pretty much want to get them stable here like we were at Salvation and then have like some like wealth and stuff and then once we've got like comfort and everybody's got weapons and maybe even armor then we'll like I don't know we'll see about moving then like who knows how that's gonna go because like by the time we have weapons and armor on everybody we might just end up having um what do you call it like non-stop like really bad raids so it could be like a double-edged sword of where shit gets better but shit gets worse. I don't know. I also don't think that room's getting power. Uh, I notice it. It's like deleting my points. That's fair. I never accumulate enough points like usually like watching people. I don't recall like deactivating these lights but okay. I generally don't manage to get enough points on average because I, I redeem shit all the time if I'm like watching somebody. And uh, so I, I never get to a point where I can like do a delete points or something like that. Um, the weirdos in my tribe getting called old. Well, the, the greatest thing is getting called old when you're not old. The worst thing is getting called old when you actually are old. Because like, then you feel old. But you feel really, really old because you know you're old. <laughs> usually you get a lot of points but I can never care to do anything with them unless they have affordable redeems so I tried to make my redeems like a little bit all over the place but purposely so so I have it that like for instance um 
like if you watch an entire stream from start to finish for instance which i don't expect people to be doing i don't expect people to be here every single day watching from start to finish and listening the whole time right like if you have spare time and you feel like being here you're welcome to be here and stuff but like definitely don't prioritize my streams over life please um like still do what you gotta do um like i'll just be happy to see you when i see you but um usually you can get up to one to two thousand points in within one stream usually i believe so like that's if you're here all the time right so one to two thousand points is usually enough to almost redeem one of the hair color changes i think or at least like a hydrate or like a stretch or like any kind of like health and wellness ones all sorts of stuff like that usually i've got sound alerts on which i do tonight some nights I don't, so sometimes there's less things to be able to redeem, which means you can save your points for a bit longer. Obviously, like, if you just sit here and watch, like, one after another for a whole week, like, you'd have enough to probably redeem one of the bigger outfits. Like, at the moment, I've got a little black dress on, which I think is, from the top of my head, I think that's 5,000 points. It's either 5,000 points or it's 10,000 points, I can't remember. But um, it's one of those. And then like I've got alternate avatar forms and she has alternate uh, outfits and stuff like that that are also redeemable and stuff. So there's quite a lot to be able to redeem here. Like you could probably redeem stuff for a couple of months um, of like watch time and stuff and have something new to sort of see in combination and whatever. Out of interest, next week I'm not streaming at all. I have a week off. So um yeah, there won't be any streams next week and I'll make sure to put a, um, like a Twitch, uh, what do you call it? One of those, they call Twitch story. So you, you guys get a reminder that I won't be streaming, um, next week at all. But I mean, I'm usually streaming between 10 and 2 a.m. most days of the week. The hell are you guys doing? Oh, you, you're smoothing the floor. I'm like, the fuck are they all watching? It's good. I'm, I'm glad that they're doing stuff. I just, I was baffled because I don't usually smooth floors. So I was like, I don't know what they're doing. They're just like out here being weird. You know? Um, do you know you're old when you're old? You fucking know it, eh? You pretty much know it when you wake up for the first time and everything hurts and you haven't done anything. I've had that like, well, I have like multiple like permanent injuries and like medical conditions and shit like that. So I kind of started feeling that since about 24. <laughs> It's like, that's when I knew I was really old, you know, <laughs> obviously not, but you know, I have a lot of aches and pains on the average day. So any day is just like the occasional time when I wake up and I'm not in some kind of pain or discomfort. I'm like, what's wrong with me today? Because I like, I'm not in pain and it's weird. And it just feels so strange, you know? Um, so yeah, that's a great spread. It's around 2000 for a full four hour stream, especially if you're, uh, streaking. Yeah, especially if you've got like your, uh, what do you call it, where you do like back-to-back -back streams with the, the stream streak thing. I, I forget that that is a thing that exists because like, I don't know, it sometimes pops up and sometimes doesn't pop up for me when I watch people, which is a little frustrating because like, yeah, I often forget that these things are a thing, but not like intentionally. I just forget, you know, probably going to have to get rid of that squared there eventually oh you know what they did is they squared off the uh the mining it's hilarious also i don't know if my caravan's got gone yet hold on where is this you guys are down here who are you waiting on sloan maybe yeah it looks like sloan they're about to go i love seeing them disappear all right where's my caravan there we go save that you have a very cute png avatar by the way uh when did you make it and have made so i made my avatar um so my avatar is my personal like self-insert character that i've always had for myself since i drew her in like i think it's year 2000 um i used to like i don't know you know when like you watch shows and read books and stuff like that like she was always my self-representation of that she's me she's she's based on me physically drawn to look like me basically um so that like i can imagine myself in like stories and stuff right so um i pretty much 
drew her, um, I kind of like drew her after I got affiliate because like I wanted to eventually have an avatar. I knew I wanted to eventually have one on my channel and I didn't, I didn't want to make up a character and I didn't want to play a character on stream because I'm just me being me. And so initially I was like, oh, I could, I could make a character that has no connection to me and then I could be whoever the fuck I want to be. And I'm like, I know that after a while that would bug me. And after a while I just end up being myself. So I was like, why don't I just use my own character that's always just been my character that I've fucking written stories for and shit. And just, why don't I just use her and that way I can be more comfortable just being myself because I'm literally just being myself and she's me. And so, yeah, I, I pretty much sat down and drew her up in one, like, huge weekend. Like, it was just, like, a 20-hour fucking run at drawing her. It took a long time, but also the thing is, like, it's not just, like, one image. Like, her, the PNG herself, like, she, we don't have much movement. Like, we've got, like, blinking and talking and stuff, right? But I have seven I think outfits and three different hair colors and each one is an individual image combination of the hair to dress and or outfit so I have like a hundred or so different images so I'm absolutely maxing out my B2 mini program <laughs> to like instead of having alternate expressions I have alternate outfits and hairstyles and shit you know um also welcome in uh is it a sale Azeel? I am terrible with names, but welcome in. Um, you have 243 prawns. So, yeah, I've got actually 248. Because um, we've got, like, a couple of prisoners. A couple of my people are in prisoners um, at the moment and whatnot. But, yeah, we got a few. We lost a few last year. And we're currently on our way to steal some more. So, <laughs> um, hopefully we'll get back over, like, 250 soon. Um, hopefully. Any PC would die if I had that many pawns. So my game is, like, my PC is not anything super special. Um, you guys could bring up my specs lists and stuff with, like, what do you call it, like, commands and shit. It is just a regular PC. I just don't have any DLCs or, um, uh, what do you call them? I don't have many mods. I've only got six mods, and I don't have any performance mods or anything like that. Um, it's an A's. Nice. And um, thank you for a follow. So is it Ace? Just let me know if it's Ace. Because, like, that's how I'm kind of reading it. I'm terrible with, like, fucking names, as I said. So, um, yeah. Sorry, I'm just... Yes. Nice. Okay, cool. Alright. We got that sorted out. Nice. Um, I'm also just back a little bit on message. Is Just give me a quick second. Um, what's it? Yeah, I have permanent health conditions, so super relate. Yeah, I think 450 for watch streak. You have to arrive within an hour of stream starting, I think. As streamer disconnects midstream, restarts, counts as a new one for the purpose of streak. Well, that would be good because my internet dropped out a couple of times, I think, this week or last week. So people have gotten that a couple of times then, at least. Nice. Um, and so that's not many. Like 50 mods in total. Yeah, so I've got like six in total. And two of them are like Harmony and Hug Slip in general. So yeah, I would consider I probably only have four mods. I'm going to say I have like four mods. Um, yeah, it, it's not really much. And they're not anything that really changes the game. It just allows me to like drop shit off my caravan and stuff. I've been mostly keeping an eye on my people in like the kitchen and stuff because I've been trying to get this powered since I changed it a little bit. And I'm just trying to trying to get them fixed up with that so that we don't lose food because last winter we had no food so it's it's even a miracle that we even have food to begin with this time Eric, uh 570 tx nice you have the 450 i5 and gaming laptop nice yeah no i um so i built my pc myself as well so mine is all just from parts so it's just literally just whatever I wanted, as long as it was compatible to get it, throw it together and shit. Um, it runs fine, I'm pretty sure. Like, I've had a couple of times where, 
like storage space has impacted my ability to like do some stuff. Like at the moment, as I was saying before, we've had like a chopped up hard drive of all my streaming stuff has my streaming software on it. So my streaming software hasn't been able to run as optimized as it should be um, while I'm like running a game and an avatar and all that stuff too. Because the thing is like, as I was saying, like I'm maxing out my avatar um, as much as I possibly can. Like if I kept her to like one avatar, right? Like blinking, talking, and maybe like one alternate dress or something like that. It would be really light, wouldn't use much. If I didn't have like a few hundred people in RimWorld, I would probably be not using much. If I wasn't streaming at the same time as those, I wouldn't be using as much resources, shit like that. So it's a lot. Cause like I played Need for Speed Underground 2 on Wednesday and the streaming program crashed instead of the game. Which was interesting because the reason why I hadn't done random game night for like four months is because I had to change over to Streamlabs. And Streamlabs was having like, I, I it was a sharp like learning curve. I was using Twitch Studio beforehand, right? And Twitch Studio did a lot of things really well. Like it like brought in my avatar very neatly. So like I hate pointing out like when something's obvious and stuff but like you can see around my hair if you're not like on a phone that it's like got a little bit of extra pixels i can't do anything about that twitch studio automatically got rid of like the extra you know the green screen effect but um streamlabs does not so the only problem is it also ruined well kind of broke one of my outfits too but i made a fix for that <laughs> i made a fix for it not by fixing the avatar but by like taking a screenshot of like the avatar and putting it behind the avatar <laughs> so the part that's broken isn't visible anymore and I'm like sometimes the simplest workaround is the best workaround you know like that's the best way look you don't have to put a lot of effort into doing something like you just gotta be work smart about it kind of thing because like if I had have had to fix the avatar itself I would have had to of um basically like resaved in like my avatar program for new images which would have required um we call it like rendering and resizing and shit beforehand and then making sure that i put it in the right place and stuff and then i couldn't guarantee that it still wouldn't work you know so i'm like the easiest thing for me to do is just take a fucking screenshot of the section so then it doesn't have a transparent spot at all you know I also want to get to a point where we have enough steel that I can actually like stop having X's on this because it is hard to see that my hospital is like, it's going to be hopefully nice. I'm going to have like this, like, what do you call it? Like steel tile in the center and this concrete shit around the edge. Like it's not going to be like as perfectly sterile as I need it to be, but it'll be fine. You know? Um, oh yeah. The mods you're asking about the mods. Um, I do have a mods list. Hold on. It doesn't automatically just, I don't know if I've got it as that. Yeah. So I don't know if, like, eventually I'll change it that it should just come up straight away in chat instead. But because I have different mods for different games and stuff, like, I don't want it to just come up with, like, the wrong mods for the wrong game. You know, because, like, I play other shit too. So usually, out of interest, I'm normally actually playing RimWorld on Tuesdays. But... Because I don't have anything to do in Once Human at the moment, I'm playing RimWorld on Friday as additional. And like I said, next week I'm not streaming at all because I've basically just taken some time off and stuff. So, yeah, it's a little bit all over the place at the moment. But I'm kind of glad that I'm getting a chance to play it more because I've, I've been so eager to play RimWorld lately just because, like, they've finally stopped dying. <laughs> Basically, like, from before last winter through spring and then summer, it was just nuts. It was so much, like, chaotic shit. Like, the high psychic drone, the defoliator ship, the fucking uh, cold snap, the heat wave, the, uh, what do you call it, uh, starvation, no food, like, cannibalism situation. Like, it has been something like this last couple of months playing it so when it finally calmed down I was like huh I kind of forgot what RimWorld was like when it's not going absolutely psychotic you know 
I'm gonna make this just one line out from the door because I know what my people are like they're gonna harvest something and they're gonna put it in the doorway and I'm just not gonna allow that get inspired creativity good you know what else I need to do is I need to check my animals list to have horses and shit around the place at the moment I'd love to be able to like trap a couple of extra animals but I just need food I need meat and leathers we got to peel our animals remember to peel your animals people so you can have leathers so then your people can have clothes because like we still got 43 people that got tatted apparel basically when we moved here there was also everybody had like tatted clothes by like winter so I had to replace like 200 plus items of clothing in basically like one hit I basically made a production line right right here so I put a bunch of like uh, what do you call them like the um, tailoring benches outside and I just left them I, I made like a storage thing next to it and I just let them just keep making clothes putting it on the ground somebody would walk past change their clothes I'd have like shit clothes and then like I was just sending that to um, uh, what do you call it like traders and stuff which reminds me this is almost finished loading I've only got like 300 odd berries to go and then I can make somebody else my allies and then they'll make a net three allies for tonight which would be incredible because we had this huge battle um, in fall autumn right we had a bunch of mechs pop out of the water here and they just decimated all of my wind turbines and I called in purple and blue to help come and like oh what do you call it to come and like help me basically just act as kind of like shields so I could like stand behind them and stuff and then they died so then my allies were unhappy with that and then I think green sent me 95 helpers like a, a fucking group came to help me an actual decent group came to help me and of course most of them died so then they were really upset about that for obvious reasons so yeah I um I lost all my allies in like one hit it was something and I'd been relying on them all winter previously for food um to create a private uh steam room worlds mod collection so you won't have to put the name of the links the links them in google sheet file yeah I don't know I hadn't like thought about it um like just as like a heads up like I'm like only in probably like my second year ish of streaming like I'm not that familiar with all this stuff so this isn't something that's like I've heard of to like cross my mind before so yeah I wasn't aware of that as a thing um but eventually if I get to it I get to it basically a lot of what I'm doing is very um like low priority <laughs> Like, I add stuff in as I think about it and whatever, but, um, like, when I finish streaming and stuff, like, I have, like, hours of this editing and, like, um, like, YouTube and other places and stuff like that, so I have quite a lot after stream that, like, keeps me busy too, so I can't just, like, quickly add something just because, like, I learn about it. I do want to take this through, like, a path, like, here or something, if I can, or at least, like, stop it from going through the center anymore I, I still want it to be connected if I can I'll have to just see if I can get power one of the things I wouldn't mind doing is being able to obviously I'm not adding or removing any mods and stuff anytime but like I sort of wish I had at least something that allowed me to remove stuff like that without it being like the floor because a lot of the time when I select something I accidentally select the floor or wall and it deconstructs that but yeah, if I can get these disconnected, then get them connected up, then I can move that. I should get rid of this top line too. I That might get rid of the light. Yeah, that's going to potentially get rid of the light. I'll have to fix that up. Let me get... I don't need hidden. I need normal through here. I don't know. This is um, the time of peace with fucking Asura, which is what my colony is called, by the way. Has been kind of pleasant it's just been non-stop like chaos for ages and it's just nice to have some peace to be able to get some stuff done 
Which, you know, before I know it, I'll probably get, like, attacked by something or whatever and I'll be, like, unprepared because a lot of people have, like, their weapons in storage instead. Yeah, but that kind of reminds me a lot of pre-2000s anime. I mean, it should, considering, like, I drew my character back in the year 2000. So, like, she was influenced by a lot of different anime around that time. Because, like I said, she's a self-insert of myself. So, she is me, she's based on me. Like, my body, all that sort of shit, my hair. Her hair colours and shit are legit swatched off me. Same with skin colour and crap. But, um, yeah, I literally just, um, 